Uh, I love what Patty Nielsen says. Uh, I won't know any of the answers, but I like to watch. Does that sound perverted? <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Crazier out there. Hey, everybody, welcome to Late Late Horror Show. What is going on? Uh, House of Frankenstein 1944, Universal Horror Trivia Night. Uh, yes, we are continuing with uh, Universal Horror, uh, the Frankenstein. So uh, here we go again. Uh, we're kind of veering off here from like the first three, like Frankenstein Bride and you know, uh, Son. You, you kind of get this almost kind of similar storyline. But uh, the ghost and house, we're starting to kind of veer off a little bit in the different kind of storylines. But uh, Patty Nielsen, that was that was funny. That was that was hilarious. Uh, but hello, uh, Scarecrow Ninja. Uh, good to see you, Edward Stewart. Always good to see you, my friend. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Going to have a fun night with trivia night and some questions here. No use for a name. Says hi guys. What's going on? Uh, Chad Farr is here. Uh, Ginger, one girly girl. And CM is here. Ed Brooks, what's going on? Hello to everyone. Ed Brooks, uh, that looks similar to uh, another profile. But uh, Tracy Asteria, as always, what's going on? Uh, Donovan Belair, uh, let's see. Uh, hot day outside, got a little overheated, so i be here rooting everyone on. Uh, no worries. Yes, this movie uh, does have a J Lon Chaney, uh, John Carradine, uh, Boris Karloff and J. Carol Nash, who, everybody knowing that I'm a Charlie Chan fan, uh, actually took on the role in the character of Charlie Chan uh, for when it was made for TV in the 50s. Um, there was a, a short-lived series, uh, Charlie Chan, and played by J. Uh, J. Carol Nash. So uh, very interesting. Uh, Paul Ham, what's going on? Jamie which is here. Let's see. Don't want to. Daryl Hagler is there. I think that's everybody. Um, yeah. Yeah. Say. So, uh, yeah. Uh, we, we have uh, House of Frankenstein 1944. Uh, I think next week I'll, I'll go back and do a hammer horror. Um, again, it might not be for everybody, but I love them. So I'm going to do them. Uh, Satemkia Falling Tree. Yeah. There we. Uh, Okay, no, there we go. So, Temp Gear Falling Tree, what is going on? Yay, Universal Horror, he says. Yep, yep. Uh, Ginger says, what's the use of having that awesome Beetlejuice sign in your... <laughs> Not going to turn it on. Do you want me to turn it on? You guys tell me how distracting it ends up being with it on. Uh, I, I'm going to turn it on for you guys. There you go. Um, and if it becomes too distracting, you let me know. <laughs> I'll turn it on for you. Uh, it's just bright in some areas, but, uh, yeah, I mean, look at that, baby. Uh, look at that. Okay, well, you tell me if it's too distracting. Um, let's see. Uh, hello, everyone. I hope you all are doing well and rest are recovering. Yes, yes. Happy National Radio Day. Very sweet. Uh, yes, let's... Uh, Let's now that's one I can get on board for for the radio, right? Donovan Donovan Belair. Uh, I think this and House of Dracula and Abbott and Costello meet Frankenstein is the first time all of the Universal monsters were all in one movie, The Full Monster Mash. There you go, Donovan Belair. Uh, Yepper, you start getting the other characters kind of joining in and stuff. So uh, very cool. Black Rose, awesome room, Dino. Thank you very much. Awesome Rose. Is that, is that too distracting? It's not distracting? It's right over me. It's, it's not too distracting? Okay. Okay. Uh, no, it's not distracting. It's awesome. Can we do Universal uh, Carl's Films trivia in the near future? Universal Carus? Paul Ham? What do you mean by that, Paul Ham? Uh, Karloff? Is that what you mean? Um, 
WWM, what is going on? Good to see ya. Good to see ya. Crazy old bat. Crazy old bat is here. What's going on, you crazy old bat? Uh, like the sign. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It's not straight, though. That's going to bug me, man. Uh, John David, what's going on? Interesting. It only shows Beetlejuice written twice and not three times. Uh, we've got that many times because they said they didn't want to put Beetlejuice on there three times because they didn't want to summon Beetlejuice. Anyways, um, yeah, that's going to annoy me that it's... But it, it's it's got to it's gotta be that way. I'm going to have to straighten that out. So, Grant L., what's going on? Uh, sign looks good, Dino. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. Um, the Mummy movies, Dino. Uh, oh, let, we will get to we will get to the the Universal franchises, Dracula's too. Uh, so yeah, uh, gonna gonna keep rolling with it. But um, good to see everybody here today. Uh, we are going to do t uh, torso movie discussion. Uh, I say discussion because we go on for an hour and a half. Is it a movie review? Eh, more of a discussion. Uh, Torso with Ginger tomorrow. Uh, it's an early giallo flick. Uh, should be very interesting, uh, to say the least. Yeah, yeah. And for tonight's overnight old-time radio show, it is This Is Your FBI Stream number two. Uh, got a lot of that coming. Uh, there's over 300 episodes of This Is Your FBI. So i um, going to do another um, set. This is only the second. Only did one before. Uh, people seem to like it. So there you go. Uh, Super Chat. Black Rose, $7.50. $5 Super Chat. Here's a fiver. Just wanted to show support for what you are doing with your channel and for bringing such wonderful people together. Thank you, Black Roses. Um, yeah, no, we've got quite the community here. I love it. Uh, everybody is, uh, for the most part, uh, fantastic. <laughs> and uh, everybody is great. Uh, yes, just like you said. Uh, slam that thumb. Thumbs up. First time here, subscribe. Uh, give the channel a join. Uh, there's also a link to Patreon. Um, movie nights every Friday night at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, we just watched Basket Case yesterday. Uh, needless to say, Basket Case is a cult classic. Uh, great cheesy 80s horror film. And I think everybody had a good time watching it. Uh, we had a great turnout. So uh, there you go. Um, Artemis, what's going on? Uh, one Sean Bond, what is going on? Good to see you. Michael Hiller. Hey, 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 Michael Hiller. What is going on? Uh, good to see you. And Tracy Hysteria, there's the links. If you are enjoying the link, join the Patreon, join the channel. Um, again, I'll give you a shout out on this channel. I can see when somebody joins Patreon. It would be very cool, very awesome if you were to do that. And um, with all of that said... Uh, all that babbling. Oh, the boy wonder has flown in with his cape. He says, hello, everyone. Uh, hello, uh, boy wonder. What is going on? Uh, everyone is amazing. Yes, they are. You're always here with positive energy, positive attitude. So I love it. Love it. Um, the movie last night was Oscar worthy. Uh, WWM. <laughs> you know? If they gave Oscars out for the uh, cheesiest movie of the, the year, uh, that, that would definitely have won. So Oscar worthy, for sure, for sure. Cow fart, for the most part, there goes Dino smack talking me behind my back again. What? What are you talking about, cow fart? Uh, anyways, um, Matthew Gregory, hello there. First time catching one of uh, your live streams. Just wanted to say thanks for the OTR. I love the content. Thank you, Matthew Gregory. Uh, everything other than the old time radio show is just icing on the cake, so to speak. Uh, you get me and Ginger tomorrow night, one girly girl right here in the chat. Uh, and we are going to have a battle of the old time radio detectives on Monday. And Tuesday, you get Lisa. Tracy, well, late night coffee talk with Tracy and Lisa, with guest Dave Pluffet, and I'll be there. And everybody's going to be trying something, some food, 
Things that they've never tasted before. Taco Tuesday. Um, JKS 80s horror fan. Holy smackaroni. Uh, good old cheese in that smackaroni. Uh, Dino, you know my history. Uh, I have to say your chat is the most welcoming in the world. Tracy, Connie, girly girl, and so on. Whenever I'm feeling down, your channel picks me up. Thank you. Now I will be passing out. LOL. Uh, 80s horror fan. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That means so much to me. Uh, supporting a channel like that. And I do appreciate you saying what you say. Um, yes, that's exactly what this uh, channel and this chat is. And everybody 80s horror fan had a rough time. I think a week ago, a, a former military friend, army buddy, not army buddy, military friend um passed away and you know so just send some positive vibes his way um but thank you very much 80s horror fan really appreciate it uh yes always good people here to talk to um let's see francis mccloskey what's up mr stewart Mr. Stewart, J J J J J Jimmy Stewart here. Um, Ed Brooks, 199 super sticker. The good old thumbs up. What is going on? Good to have you here. Good to see you. Good to know you. Good to be you. Hugs, cow fart. What's going on? Uh, and hail to everyone I missed. Uh, yes, big old hugs to cow fart as always. Um, always, always. Dad jokes are always appreciated. Uh, if you got anyone, any that are pertaining to like horror, because we are doing House of Frankenstein 1944 uh, Trivia Night tonight. Uh, please feel free to uh, uh, put some dad jokes in there for that. Uh, but let, let's get to question number one. Let's not prolong this any further. Uh, you know, uh, let's get straight to the action. Um, <laughs> it is 810. We're already at 54 thumbs up, so that's awesome. Uh, again, thank you, uh, 80s Horror Fan. And thank you, Ed Brooks. And thanks, everybody, for being here and showing up to the stream. Uh, giving thumbs up and all the other good stuff uh, for sure. I uh, really do appreciate it. And again, I can't say enough about movie nights on Friday night. They're so fun. Uh, you get them every week. The end of the month is coming up here soon where we'll have the big party on Patreon. And for channel members, um, they will. Uh, we, we will all get together on video. And last time, I think they all went talking for like hours after it was ended. So I think they went to midnight or something like that. So, uh, you know, hey, have fun. Have at it. Uh, if I would have known, I might have jumped back in. But this time I'll know. So big party at the end of the month for you guys. Uh, and still wish I knew why my gramps never liked Jimmy Stewart. Hey, anything can kind of like throw you off, you know. Uh, uh, Jimmy Stewart, he has a rough side that can kind of push people away you know and his demeanor especially when he got into the a little older and the cowboy shows I, I i don't know i don't know uh everyone hit that like button oh, holy moly batman we have a lot of great people here yes 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 here we go question number one and you sure the sign isn't distracting ginger asked me to turn it on so question number one for the evening here we go House of Frankenstein, 1944. What is painted on the side of the horse-drawn carriage in the opening scene? Is it A, the House of Horrors, B, Professor Laszlo's House of Fiends, C, Professor Lampin's Chamber of Horrors, or D, Beware, Live Live werewolf inside. And the answer is. Um, let's see who's going to get the first answer there. Huh? Let's see. Uh, no, no. I'll be there with you, Ginger. Um, I'll be tied for last place as always. Oh, <laughs> gotcha. Okay. Uh, let's see. Jimmy Stewart rocked. You know, Jimmy Stewart rocked in, like, It's a Wonderful Life, um, The Store Around the Corner, uh, classics of mine that I just love. Uh, but he's, yeah, he's a great actor. Uh, Rear Window, one of my favorite Alfred Hitchcock movies of all time. Um, Paul Ham, 
I think it's on the board first. We got Paul Ham, uh, who says C. Um, he gets a point. Uh, it is C. Uh, this what's painted on the side of the horse-drawn carriage in the opening scene is C. Professor Lampin's Chamber of Horrors. Pro Professor Lampin's Chamber of Horrors. So there you go. Paul Ham with the first one. Yeah. Maybe it's a sign will be so distracting I will win. This is Tracy Steria. Uh, lots of other people got C kind of all over the place. Uh, yes, I requested a Beatles sign turn on. Blame it on me. <laughs> I just hate that it's not straight. But anyways, um, that's my OCD kicking in there. Eat at Joe's. <laughs> Friends and McCloskey. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Eat at Joe's. Uh, cow fart. Oh, here we go. Um, yes, rare window, John David, uh, cow fart. I was walking home last night through the park when this scary looking kid drew a knife on me. The little idiot used a permanent marker and it was a nightmare to wash it off. Is that, is, is, is that a joke? That's certainly, uh, yeah. Okay. Tracy, you can always compliment Dino's hat. Yes, you can. Uh, Lampini, by the way. Lampini, what did I say? Oh, I, I miswrote it. I, I put Lampini, yes, Lampinis. Okay, there you go. Uh, typing, you will see my answers tomorrow. Big thumbs up. Big <laughs> hey, it's all fun, man. All fun on the run. Question number two, here we go. Where were, <clears throat> my voice changed. Where were Dr. Neiman and Daniel incarcerated? A. Neustadt Prison. B. Belenros Sanitarium. Belarus. Uh, C. Allen Guard State Penitentiary. Or D. Smith's Grove Asylum. Uh, yeah. So there you go. And the answer. Oh man, Kyle, that sucks. What? what, what? Yeah, that's... Yeah, yeah. Um, permanent markers, yeah, they shouldn't be, they shouldn't be on. Um, used as knives is what's, yeah, uh, interesting. Um, okay, so, who got that first? Oh, uh, look at this. Now I get it. Paul Ham with another point. Point number two to Paul Ham. Point number two, uh, it is A... Neustadt Prison. Neustadt Prison. So there you go. I need some to pull a knife on me to see if I still have it. Edward Stewart with the judo. Oh, judo chop. Uh, speaking of Pink Panther and Peter Sellers. Ah, judo chop. Come on, Kato. <laughs> like Primus sucks, cow. Good thing. Um, very interesting. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Uh, chill down on the talk there in the chat there you guys what um, question number three question number three let's let's get through some uh, I think everybody's mesmerized and hypnotized by the uh, Beetlejuice sign why is Frankenstein such a such good fun because he soon has you in stitches oh good one Tracy good one Tracy oh boy yeah that was a good one um, question number three, why does Dr. Neiman attack the patrolling guard? A, he wanted more food. B, he tried to grab his key. C, he wanted some chalk. Or D, the guard would never play chess with him. So, question number three, uh, and the answer is, Oh boy, that's a funny one. Uh, cow fart. I'm ready. I'm. Oh, he's reading a horror story in Braille, and something scary about to happen. I can feel it. Oh boy. Um, yeah, that's a good one. You're in Braille. You can feel it. Yeah, I got it. I got it. Hey, Michael Tompkins. What is going on? Good to see you. Good to be you. Good to know you. Good to do. Okay. Not you too. As if, <laughs> um, let's see. So everybody seems to know this one very well. 
He wanted some chalk. So WWM gets a point. WWM gets a point. Uh, Paul Ham with two. WWM with one. Uh, it was C to get some chalk. He wanted some chalk. Um, Kyle Fart, I'm reading a book on anti-gravity. It's impossible to put down. WWM is on the board. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Oh, cow fart. Uh, that's, that's a good one. I love it. Love it. Love it. Uh, question number four. Whose footsteps? Footsteps. Footsteps. Uh, whose footsteps does Dr. Neiman wish to follow? A, Dr. Pretorius. B, Dr. Frankenstein. C, Plato. Or D, Dante Alighieri. Question number four. I mean, just refer to Young Frankenstein for the answer. Just refer to Young Frankenstein for the answer. So, uh, yeah. And, and there you go. Uh, Edward Stewart. <laughs> yeah. Home runs! Yepper, yepper. Uh, my internet is buffering. Sorry, everyone, I have to go. Boy, wonder you love the chance. Sorry, it's buffering. Sorry, it's buffering. Um, Paul Ham gets the point. Uh, three. I did say uh, sorry about that, boy. Wonder. Hopefully, your internet fixes itself. Uh, can it fix itself? That that'd be interesting, right? Um, for sure. Yeah, it could be. Um, anyways, Paul Ham gets B. And yes, I said refer to Young Frankenstein because footsteps, footsteps. Walk this way. B, Dr. Frankenstein. B, Dr. Frankenstein. Uh, Mel Brooks, Gene Wilder, they took a lot of different things from different Frankenstein movies, you know, so uh, when they did Young Frankenstein. So, and that's a classic uh, part in Young Frankenstein is when he says, footsteps, footsteps, walk this way, walk this way. Anyways, um, Big foot's footstep. S -s -s. How does Frankenstein get around town? He drives a monster truck. Huh. Huh, let me see. Oh! Oh! Look at this! Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, we got WWM just joined uh, Patreon. Looks like, I think, for the whole year. So, congrats to you, WWM. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And let's see. Who said that they joined so I can use your name? I joined the OTR. Black Rose 750 joined. Thank you at the $10 level. Thank you very much, Black Rose. Uh, it's always good to get a Patreon, somebody new on there. Um, so thank you, thank you, thank you, Black Rose and WWM. Uh, have so make sure you guys check out the links for movie nights every Friday. I post them. Um, tomorrow I'm actually going to post a poll uh, on Patreon and on the channel to uh, you know so you get to pick what movie. Uh, everybody gets to choose. I'll put a list of four movies up there, and whichever one wins, wins. So thank you very much, uh, Black Rose and WWM. Really appreciate it. Uh, you guys are the best. Um, anyways, uh, moving on. Uh, Francis McCloskey, I was talking to a pony yesterday, but he didn't say much. He was a little horse. He was a little horse. Uh, Black Rose, uh, Roses, I want to hang out for movie nights. This group has to be great. Oh, Black Roses, we have a riot on movie night, man. Uh, we have a riot. Uh, and again, if you show up about 7.30, like a half hour early, uh, we're usually all chatting a bit, uh, talking amongst ourselves. So um, always good stuff. Always good stuff. So uh, there you go. 
So yeah, we're starting off good tonight. Hit that thumbs up, everybody. Uh, again, be sure to give the channel a join or join the Patreon. Uh, we've had two Patreons, a couple Super Chats, one generous one from uh, 80s Horror Fan. Love it. And uh, what a good night. Yeah, feel really good. So there you go. Question number uh, five. So question number five. And tell me, guys, was Basket Case not the greatest? I mean, come on. Belial and his brother, the acting, the wigs on the characters. It's, oh, ay, ay, ay. I told you there were great characters in it. Question number five. What does Dr. Neiman tell Daniel Dr. Frankenstein could have given him? A, a bride. B, a new brain. C, make him strong, or D, make him like other men? Question number five. Uh, oh, my God. Pardon me, people. Ooh, jeez. Little belts there, huh? Uh, WWM, that movie was so bad it was good. Exactly. 100% basket cases. So, that was so, it's so bad it's good. Um... Looks like WWM came in right away with the correct answer. Um, it's not B, you crazy old bat. Um, no use for a name, eh? Uh, so, yes. Uh, Douglas Montgomery, a body like Adonis. Mm. Hello, Douglas Montgomery. What is going on? Good to see you here. Good to be you. Good to know you. Uh, good to have you. So, there you go. I love Basket Case. I haven't seen it since it came out. Yeah, so it was a long time. 15% off uh, on auto insurance. Oh, Grant, a good one, good one. Um, so, WWM got it. It was B, I mean D, make him like other men. Make him like other men. I mean, you know, what kind of other men? I mean, there's, there's some, some good, some bad. You take the good, you take the bad, you put them both together, then you have the facts of life. Was that true? I mean, was that right? I don't know. Anyways. Um, oh, Mrs. Garrett drove me nuts. Mrs. Garrett drove me nuts. But yet, there was that motherly side that just soothed the savage beast, right? Um, that's who uh, Dr. Frankenstein should have had. Uh, to help him out was Mrs. Garrett. Um, you know, she knew just when to come in and and make people feel good, but yet teach them a lesson. Um, you know, Tootie. I mean, uh, well, they all got in so much trouble, but uh, yeah, you know, um, that was an awesome show. Ha uh ha. -huh. Yeah, yeah, it sure was. Adonis is another man, so I should get partial credit. Um, nope, Douglas, uh, first of all, yeah, definitely, it's either you say A, B, C, or D, or you write it down, and it's got to be close to what they say, um, anybody could be another man, you could have said Christopher Columbus, uh, but no, make him like other men, other men, not other, another man, let's not make him like another man, let's make him like other men, so, good try. Good try. Yeah, the hair was fantastic last night, says Kyle Fart. Yeah, the hair, the wigs were just fantastic in Basket Case. Now, I don't know why they wore wigs. I mean, it must either it was an, an ongoing joke between the actresses, or yeah, I don't know what the, th the deal was with that. I own a DVD of House of the Wolfman starring uh, Ron Chaney. Oh, very nice. Michael Tomskins, uh, <laughs> very good. Uh, just discovered your YouTube channel. Good stuff. Cool set too. Says J dot O dot B dot. Uh, job or Job or John Oliver Bernstein. I don't know. Who knows? But thank you, Job. Uh, good to see you. Uh, good to have you. Good to know you, too, you know? I mean, so far, unless things go downhill and then we just, like, go, 
whoa, we thought it was good to know you, but eh, I don't know. Anyways, uh, ba Basket Case was a great fun film. Hey, everybody, how you doing? Doug the Cat has made it in. What are you at, Dino? What are you at? Um, I'm at question number six. And so far, we got Paul Ham with three points and WWM with two points. And we got 66 thumbs up. And people have come in. Hit that thumbs up and show some love. So there you go. Um, a good night. Got two Patreons. Got Black Roses. Got WWM. And we got some Super Chats. So good night. Good night. Uh, so good night, everybody. See you later. Uh, question number six. Good to see you, Doug the Cat, as always. Frankenstein doesn't have a first name. He's the monster. Sad. Yeah, I would have given him a first name for sure. Herman, maybe? Yeah, whatever. Uh, question number six. Who gave Dr. Neiman all of Dr. Frankenstein's secrets? A, Elsa Frankenstein. B, Igor. Igor. Whatever. C, Fritz. Or D, Ludwig Frankenstein. Question number six. Paul Ham off to the races again. Yeah, <laughs> Kevin. <laughs> Kevin, man. Yep, yep, yep. It's always on top of it. Yeah, yeah. Well, it looks like, uh, well, no, no. See, let's see. Uh, it's not ACM. Paul Ham, nope, not D isn't going to cut it this time, but WWM comes in first. WWM and ties it up with Paul Ham. So Paul Ham and WWM both tied up with three points. And I do say, uh, see, uh, Matthew Gregory has entered the building. Uh, welcome, welcome, welcome. Good to see you. Good to know you. Good to be you. Uh, so a lot of people got C. It is C, uh, Fritz. Fritz the cat. I mean, Fritz uh, is the answer. C. Fritz. So uh, good on tying that up there. We got a we got a showdown between Paul Ham and WWM. Uh, let's see, cow fart. I always said that I would never ever go walking through dark, scary tunnels in the earth, but I eventually caved. <laughs> Holy Moses. Uh, smell the black roses. Uh, good one, Calfart. I like it. Very good. Very good. Attaboy, Luther. <laughs> yes, Ghost and Mr. Chicken. Now that's... I love Don Knotts and Ghost and Mr. Chicken, man. You gotta love that sucker. Uh, so good on you. Francis McCloskey says, uh, did you hear about the nun who left the covenant, the convent? She kicked the habit. Huh. She kicked the habit. Tee hee. Tee hee. Um, what's up, girly girl, you super groovy cat? What's up there, Ginger, you super groovy cat, you? Uh, yeah, got some beatniks in the building tonight. Uh, yay, yay, yay. You too, Tracy. Great day to be alive. Every day is a great day to be alive. Um, question number seven. Let's continue this race, right? It's a race to the finish line. Who will win? Will it be Paul Ham? Will it be WWM? Will it be somebody else? Huh? And Horror Junkie for life. Horror Junkie. Horror Junkie for life. Let's all chat. Horror Junkie for life. Horror Junkie for life. Horror Junkie. She just gifted five Late Late Horror Show memberships again. Which I think that makes 20 you've gifted to people. So she's gifted five Late Late Horror Show memberships. Uh, I'm waiting for them to come up. How come they're not coming up? Usually it says who who were who was gifted, um, but I don't see nothing. 
What's what's going on there? Usually they say, don't they? Am I wrong? Um, just checking. Ooh, had a little buffer there. Oh boy, yeah. Things going well or what? Yeah. Horror junkie. I'm not sure why they're not showing up. Maybe you've done too many memberships. That don't make no sense. But they're not allowing you to gift five memberships. How is that? I don't know. That's weird. Because I don't see them. Do you, Tracy? Do you? any of you guys see that? No use for name. Horror junkie for life. I noticed that they don't say who got the gift. Uh, don't know why. Uh, yeah. You know what? Let me look really quick. I think... Heck, do some do the instead of doing the membership, do a super chat. But uh, maybe they uh, they limit how many memberships you can gift. I'm gonna look really quick. Um, yeah, horror junkie, they're not allowing you. It shows you are, but there's no new members. There's no new members. So that's um that's really weird. Let's see. My, and sorry, people. I'll get back to it. I'm just I'm checking because it kind of don't make any sense. Yeah, they didn't go through the last couple that you did. Did not go through horror junkie. Maybe just limit it to doing it twice a month. I don't know. Do super chat instead or something. I don't know. But yeah, no, no, no. Um, They're not going through. They're not going through just to let you know, because it's a big deal to gift Rover. Oh, here we go. Rover was gifted a membership. Okay. So, okay. I went through that time. One did. Uh, why just one? It's weird. Hey, John Victor. Last time there was a gift. You were able to say the names weird. Yeah. Rover. It was gifted a membership by Horror Junkie. Um, it just shows one. It is, so, yeah, it's weird. I don't know what's going on. Uh, but anyways, much love to you, Horror Junkie, for uh, attempting and, and trying. Um, but, yeah, just shows one new membership. That's weird. I got to look into that. Yeah, just one. Just one. Just Rover. And it said you gifted five. So, that's... Interesting. Uh, torso tomorrow night with Ginger and Dino. Yes, Kevin. Uh, I'll check the payment history. YouTube sometimes sucks. Yeah, they're not letting you um, gift. For some reason, they just allowed you to gift one person. So that's weird. Weird. Anyways, anyways, let me get back to the, the trivia so I don't bore people to death. But I, I did want to figure that out. And, and we should all, if something's going wrong... Um, should say something about it so yeah i know this one horror junkie and either the last one or the last two i don't think went through i mean i would think they'd allow you to gift as many as you wanted but um anyways moving on question number seven seven let's break this tie between paul ham and wwm you are one lovely and amazing human. Yes, horror junkie for life certainly is. Watching tour, so no way that sounds like super fun. What? Watching tour. So... Watching torso, so no way that's a... no reviewing it, Doug. Not watching. Not watching tour. Yeah, Doug the cat. No, yeah, we we're reviewing it. We don't show movies on this channel anymore. Anymore. Uh, Tracy Stair, please remember to hit the thumbs up. Thank you very much. Yes, so cool and amazing for Dino. Um, well, technically 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 memberships that she bought, I don't think have showed up. So that's, you know, I, I do want her to know that. Uh, you're never wrong, Dino. We're just having too much fun with you, brother. Um, anyways, question number seven. Here we go. What ghastly experiment... Does Dr. Neiman talk to Daniel about explaining it further, further with illustrations he's drawn on the walls inside his cell? 
A, a living head with no body. B, a man's brain transplanted into a dog. And I see that horror junkie. Hold on. Um, C, surgical gills sliced into the neck of a man to allow him to breathe underwater. Or D, a surgical joining of a fish and man into a merman hybrid. And the answer is, wow. Wow. And I must say, thank you. Thank you, Horror Junkie. You, you did not have to do that. But uh, Horror Junkie for Life, $50 Super Chat. Uh, Super Chat, it is. Dino's channel is the best. Thank you very much, Horror Junkie. Uh, I appreciate you showing all the love. Um, I really, really do. Um, again, you message me somewhere. If you want a flash drive, you know what? Everybody knows what a flash drive is. Flash drive. If, if there's a certain old-time radio show you want me to put on there and mail to you, you let me know for doing what you do. Um, there were a couple other people uh, I told that to, too, but never received anything. So if you want, message me. I, I will get, hook you up with something. But thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, it's weird. The Super Chat went through. But, again, the memberships did not, and I'm checking again, uh, only... Yeah, only one uh, membership went through, so it's it's weird. It's weird. But horror junkie, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, let's going down. I gotta see. Wait a second. Oh, that took a long time. Oh my god. Okay, let me see who got the correct answer here. Uh, the correct answer is B. And that goes to CM. CM gets a point. B. A man's brain transplanted into a dog. B. A man's brain transplanted into a dog is the correct answer. And you know what, Horror Junkie? It's, they're finally going through, as you see... Um, because now I see that John Victor was gifted a membership by Horror Junkie for Life. Maybe there's something wrong with YouTube. I don't know. Here comes the memberships now at Late Late Horror Show. Um, Stacy Lipkins is here. What's going on, Stacy Lipkins? Um, yes, we should have do Ovaltine drink recipes. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Um, show me Frankenstein, please, says Stacy Lipkins. Yes, yes, yes. Just John Victor was just gifted. So, yes, okay. So now two were gifted. So coming in slowly, horror junkie. Uh, but you know what? Thank you for everything. Um, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. A uh, cow fart. Why did the sea monster eat five chips? Five ships. Okay, why did the sea monster eat five ships that were carrying potatoes? No one can eat just one potato ship. But um bump Oh my oh my Jimity Christmas uh yes so CM is on the board now with a point John Victor I had to click on the gift button and allow getting gifts maybe the others have to do the same really John Victor also thanks so much Everyone tell G Dino how nice the Beetlejuice sign uh, looks John Victor, you had to actually accept a gift? That's weird. That's really weird. But be sure you take advantage of um, the uh, perks, like the Patreon and, and the movie nights and stuff like that. So uh, hopefully see you there. Um, hey, Night Fright Talk Show, what is going on? Good to see you. Uh, dot cod mercenaries to say hello to situations yeah yeah that's that's weird that's weird i don't know because i i know i see a second gift yeah the one you horror junkie did last time i know i didn't see no gifts from that so if people actually have to accept it that's weird had to accept and allow it to be publicly posted huh 
See, I can see everybody who's been gifted. Uh, it shows up right here on my new members. And John Victor and Rover. So two people. Two people did. So just tour Junkie, just look at your uh, history there with YouTube. So there you go. Uh, anyways, uh, monsters aren't usually good at math unless you count Dracula. <laughs> Uh, you you do have to accept gift to receive membership. Interesting, Kevin. Ah, there you go. That's why super chat it up. Just, just make it simple. Just to do the super chats, <laughs> and then um, yeah, I get enough super chats. Maybe I'll get. But no, it's it's very nice to be able to do. Uh, but that's weird. Um, better not get charged for it. That's for sure. Anyways, question number eight. Here we go. Question number eight. How do Dr. Neiman and Daniel escape? A, Daniel kills a guard and steals his keys. B, the Frankenstein monster pulls the bars off the window. C, lightning strikes the tower, causing the structure to fall apart. Or D, Neiman hypnotizes a doctor into setting them free. Question Number eight. Wow. So so much interesting stuff I'm learning today here, huh? Um, so that would be, let's see. Uh, one girly girl member for four months. It's already been four months at level one there, girly girl, ginger. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, Rich Cat Ranch is here. What is going on, Rich Cat Ranch? Good to see you. Uh, I know you've been loving everything. So, uh, yes, good to have you as part of the family and uh, the Old Time Radio streams overnight tonight, which tonight will be stream number two of uh, This Is Your FBI. Uh, good show. Good show. Uh, Kevin Mallon, what is going on? Kevin from Ireland here, love all your old time radio shows, was wondering, uh, can I buy some of the old time radio shows on CD or DVD from Amazon, uh, on CD or DVDs from Amazon? Uh, I don't know, you, but Kevin, you can get anything you possibly want to hear, uh, old time radio, um, right here on the channel. They're, they're all back playlists, everything. You, you look it up on the channel and there you go. Francis McCloskey was gifted a membership by Horror Junkie for Life. So there you go. There's there's three. So you must accept them. Hello, Anani Moose. Anani Moose. So uh, learn something new today, huh, Horror Junkie and everybody else? Uh, very, very cool. Uh, I guess people need to accept them. So there you go. Now I'm trying to find out who got the answer first. Um... Question number eight. Uh, I don't want to mess this up. It looks like Kevin got it. So Kevin gets a point. Um, it is C. Uh, lightning strikes the tower, causing the structure to fall apart. So there you go. Kevin gets the answer uh, right before Paul and WWM. So Kevin is on the board. CM is on the board. Uh, and tied Paul Ham and WWM with three. So there you go. Uh, very cool. Um, do you know next Friday would be awesome to see Basket Case 2? Um, no use for our name. Yeah, I'll let you know. Uh, Basket Case 2 is a whole different... It's a whole different movie compared to the, the first one. But still a good movie. Still definitely a good movie. Uh, I like the Basket Case movies, but they, they get a little bit more... They get different each time. The second and third one, they're both very different. Doug the Cat, Dino, your room looks so groovy, brother. What an awesome place you got on the go. Thank you, man. I really appreciate it. Uh, thank you all. Thank you all. Uh, let's see. No use for name, but Dino was adamant about streaming all the evil bong flicks first. No cow fart. Never, ever, ever. I mean, I'm talented, but huh, just gifted me. Uh, yes, yes, Francis. Uh, that's awesome. Uh, Night Fright Talk Show, please. Uh, and love to my uh, 
peace and love to my friends uh, having a great time thank you thank you um let's see oh geez i'm i'm trying to stay above uh tracy hysteria member for seven months at level two congrats to all the new members love you horror junkie i my sentiments exactly um I, I see Horror uh, Junkie always on Discord, which is another perk for uh, channel members and all that. So look for the links in the perk section of the channel join uh, community thing down there. And we have surpassed 86,000 subscribers. So that's worth celebrating. So we will celebrate that a little bit on um, the end of the month party on Patreon and the channel members. Um uh, to support attempt at humor. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, Tracy Hysteria with a $5 super sticker says, good job. Good job. Fox with the thumb. Boom, boom, boom. Um, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. Big night tonight. Congrats. Yes. You know what? <laughs> Dudes and dudettes. Uh, I can't thank you guys enough for supporting the channel tonight. Like you're doing, um, uh, house of Frankenstein, man trivia night right right uh everybody's showing some love this uh, saturday and i tell you what i needed it uh i needed it for this saturday evening but um anyways uh not getting into that but i did need it so thank you very much um yeah everyone's doing awesome what's the best thing to give a seasick monster says calfart plenty of room Um, uh, J O B. I just found the Dr. Finkelstein figure front row center. <laughs> yeah, there's, you can look around a bit. You can look around a bit and see the uh, different toys and stuff like that. So, uh, I kind of leave it for some fun and I change it up every now and then too. A uh, Rover. Thanks so much. Now just need to figure out how to use discord. Um, Rover. Uh, the, the link is there. I posted it like a few days ago, if not less, uh, a couple days ago. So if you look on the join section underneath the video where it says see perks, uh, you'll find the link there to Discord. Just hit the link and it'll take you right there and open it up. So uh, it's pretty simple, pretty simple. So you can definitely um, get used. So definitely good. Good to hear from you. Good to see you, Rover. And hopefully you take advantage of that. Cowfart, what do you call a big white furry monster with a six-pack? The abdominal, the abdominal snowman. Janet Thedo, congrats, you know. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, good to see you, Janet. Uh, Justin is here. Hey, hey, what's going on? Uh, yes, 86K. On our way to 100K, yeppers. Going, we're going to make it eventually. Going to make it eventually. Uh, Woohoo, Ovaltine for everyone. Yes, if I could share it. Yeah, yeah, everybody. Ovaltine. What did the head of the Frankenstein Museum say? I've curated a monster. Oh, boy. Um, good attempt, Sam. Uh, let's see. <laughs> uh, boy, you guys are chatting it up, man. I got to get to the next question. Uh, what do you call a monster with great manners? Frankenstein. Frankenstein. Uh, Justin says, Dr. Freudstein. Um, House by the Cemetery. Fraudsters figure the next. Uh, um, can we get a Dark Shadows trivia night? Uh, we did, Paul Ham. Uh, questions via Edward Stewart. We did have a Dark Shadows trivia night. Look in the, look in the trivia night playlist that I've got on the channel. Uh, so yes, what's available at discord, uh, Kevin, uh, just, it's, it's a place to, uh, just chat amongst yourselves and a place to share things you couldn't share anywhere else. It's just a community where some people go back and forth, talk about their day. And, um, there are a lot of features that, of, for things you can do there, but, um, no, it's definitely a cool place to, uh, take advantage of. That's for sure. Uh, I told Papa Smurf a joke, but he didn't laugh. He was a little blue. Oh, my God. Okay. Agent Super Argo. Salute to everyone. Good to see you, Agent Super Argo. Uh, you know, very rarely do I see you in the chat, 
but I do see you comment quite a bit. Uh, I hope you guys saw Prey, awesome movie. Uh, I didn't see Prey yet, Agent Super Argo. I'm a little not sure whether to see it or not. Um, I mean, it's getting a lot of good publicity and everything. So, um, yeah, I mean, maybe I will. Uh, anyways, uh, let's see. One more, and then I got to get to a question. Uh, Kyle Fart again. Why do mathematicians like Halloween so much? It's the only time of the year they get to do the monster math. You know, I don't know where you come up with them, man, but, you know, they're, they're pretty good there, Kyle Fart. Uh, just saw The Beast Within. Anyone remember this? Great uh, practical effects. Yes, The Beast Within is a good one. It is a good one. 79 thumbs up. We are 20, 21 away from 100. Let's get there. Uh, the record to get to 100 thumbs up is the top of the hour, and we still got about seven minutes. So let's let's get there. Come on, come on, come on. Um, boom, boom. Uh, so next question. Let's get to question number nine. Uh, going a little slow this time on questions, but uh, yeah, let me write this down just so I know again. Uh, so we can also have a part two and three, probably house of Frankenstein. Okay. So I know. Okay. There we go. Next question. What lie does Dr. Neiman tell professor Lampini? A that he's a surgeon from Vienna here on holiday. B a vampire hunter. C, the chancellor of this area, or D, a merchant who had been held for ransom by mountain bandits? Question number nine. Wow, that's an interesting, uh, interesting, interesting answer there, yeah. Um, the Beast Within, still have my VHS on that one, cool, awesome, Edward Stewart. Might see a movie when I visit Philly next month. You might have to see Girly Girl there, Horror Junkie. Uh, a, a nice meetup with Ginger. Um, she's a Philly gal. Uh, so there you go. Uh, so let's see. Question number nine. Who got it first? Looks like Paul Ham breaks the tie. Paul Ham breaks the tie. Now with four points. It is D. A merchant who had been held for ransom by mountain bandits. By mountain bandits. Uh, so congrats on that. And thank you, Tracy Asteria. Uh, yeah, nobody's taken advantage of the merch as of late. Um, there's the link to the merch store. Plenty of cool stuff. Tumblers, mugs, shirts, uh, fanny packs, um, <laughs> Uh, stickers, uh, blankets, f nice warm fleece blankets, right, Harry, uh, Scott? Uh, so good stuff on there. And if you use code late, late, you get, I believe, 10% off anything you buy in that store. 10% off. Always use code late, late for 10% off. So there you go. Thank you, Tracy, for the uh, link. Uh, that he's the man of a thousand faces. Um, Scarecrow Ninja. <laughs> hey, Paul, what's going on? Paul, Paul, Paul. Uh, next question. Question number 10. What does Professor Lampini's poster profess to show? A, the black heart of the Frankenstein monster. It will not die. B, the actual skeleton of Count Dracula the Vampire. C. The genuine blood of a werewolf stolen under a full moon. Or D. An actual mummy from far away Egypt. Question number 10. Oh. Ah. Yes, Harry Scott says, Love my blanket. Uh, awesome, awesome, Harry Scott. Love it, love it, love it. Um, looks like Kevin comes in first with the correct answer. So Kevin's got two. CM with one, Kevin two, WWM three, Paul Ham four. 
So there you go. Kevin, uh, with the correct answer, he says B. It is B, uh, the actual skeleton of Count Dracula the Vampire. The actual skeleton of Count Dracula the Vampire B. So awesome, awesome, awesome. Horror Junkie says the answer is Ovaltine. Uh, yeah, that's always the answer, pretty much. Uh, pretty much always the answer. RTN, E, Fair Fawcett. Uh, hi, boy donuts to my friend Dennis. Uh, RTN, what is going on, my friend? Good to see you. This is your FBI overnight tonight. Old time radio show. Uh, listen to it. Love it. Like it. Uh, all that good stuff. Uh, 83 thumbs up. If you're just jumping in, boom, boom, boom. Yeah, I know. Silver bullet. Silver bullet. Uh, I'm going to fit it in uh, soon. <laughs> I'm going to fit it in soon, Ginger. Uh, yeah. Silver bullet trivia. Tracy, have the t-shirt with the vampire girls. Really cool. That one right there. That's the one that uh, Edward Stewart has. On a shirt. On a shirt. So there you go. Um Wow, still have my 1975 bathing suit with protuberances poster of her in the in my garage. Galfart says a Farrah Fawcett. Nice, 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 nice. Uh, very cool. Uh, question number 11. Let's keep it going. Question number 11. Question number 11. Let's see. Why does Professor Lampini say he doesn't show his oddities in Visara? A. Hardly anyone lives there anymore. The Frankenstein monster scared everyone away. B. The town is cursed. Nobody has good fortune when they visit that town. C. Those people aren't afraid of anything. Not after seeing the Frankenstein monster in all. D. That's a town that doesn't care for horrors. They had one of their own some 15 years ago. So question number 11. Question number 11. Whoa, that was quick. Yeah, look, I love all these green highlighted names, all these new members. Hopefully you enjoy it and continue to be a member after the, the month is up. Uh, just take advantage of the movie nights and everything else. That would be awesome. Um, so yes, uh, let's see. Uh, Kevin gets the answer again. He's quickly inching up here. He's quickly inching up. So yeah, it is D. And um, that's a town that doesn't care for horrors. They had one of their own some 15 years ago. Uh, so congrats, Kevin, for coming in first. Uh, Paul Ham got D. Uh, Michael Hiller got D. And Matthew Gregory got D. Uh, and John David. Man, what a night. I oh, love you guys. Love you. Uh, always love you, no matter what. But uh, loving it, loving it. John David, $10 Super Chat. Thanks for all you do with the channel, Dino. You're welcome, John David. You're welcome. Uh, means a lot. Uh, appreciate you guys uh, showing the love today. That's for sure. Uh, much, much love to you all. Kyle Fart says, Dr. Frankenstein entered a bodybuilding competition and discovered he had seriously misunderstood the objective. <laughs> yeah, good old Alney. Uh, get to the plate, get to the chopper. I can't, I, I got to work on that a little bit, but uh, John David wrecked the place, <laughs> says Edward Stewart. Uh, so yes, thank you, thank you, uh, John David. Um, yeah, I don't know what to say, you guys, except love ya, love ya. Um, and on to another question. Let's keep it going because we seem to be getting closer here to... Kevin is in, tied for second with WWM. Paul Ham is four. So there you go. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. Dino got all his brother and sisters with him. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, okay, question number 12. Who does Professor Lampini say is the mayor of Regalburg? 
A, Lawrence Talbot. B, Inspector Owen. C, Hussman the Burgermaster. Or D, Constable Klept. Question number 12. Uh, just ordered the most awesome new t-shirt from the Late Late Horror Show. Thank you, Tracy Asteria. You may be the first one that bought something in about three weeks. I don't know, something like that. <laughs> I got to start pushing it a little more. Anyways, um, thank you, Tracy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hopefully you enjoy it. I'm curious which one you bought. Uh, I'll have to go look after. Um, so... The first person to get it is, oh boy, look at this, Kevin. Kevin comes in right before Paul Ham. Right before Paul Ham with C. Uh, the answer is C. Hussman the Burgermaster. Burgermeister. Burgermaster. Um, very, very good. Uh, so Kevin has tied it up with Paul Ham, each with four. And WWM with three right behind. So uh, very, very cool. Uh, uh, Edward Stewart says, Tracy, new shirt. Uh, wreck the place. I <laughs> uh, love it. Oh, my God. I need a new wreck the place t-shirt is what I need. Uh, Ford Torino, my car from the past. Nice. Uh, hope you're feeling better, RTN. says CM. Very cool. Uh, Edward, too, too much fun tonight. You got that straight. Uh, loving it, loving it, loving it. Uh, you guys are awesome. Uh, Kyle Fart. Dr. Frankenstein finally became popular enough in his own right to gain unlimited access to cemeteries and morgues for his uh, creations. I guess to the victor goes the spoils. Um, yeah. That's a no, that's a no. Thanks. Love you, mugs. This is RTN. Loves used mugs. Uh, yes, Tracy, we need a Wreck the Place t-shirt. Uh, but Edward Stewart it hasn't given the okay yet. Um, the Ouija board design for Halloween. Oh, nice, Tracy. Yes, the red one. Uh, that is a very cool style. So, yeah. Created by the one and only. So, there you go. Um, all creations by me. Uh, anyways, um, I'm tied at zero, says Ed Brooke, Brooks. Uh, wreck the place. Anyways, um, love you, smugs. Um, so let's see if we can break the tie between Kevin and Paul Ham, right? Uh, 83 thumbs up. If you haven't hit that thumbs up yet, let's get to a hundred. Uh, bing, bang, boom. Um, honestly, we're at 86,104 for channel members. Uh, so We've really climbed there, so very, very cool. So, so far, Francis McCloskey, new member, gifted by Horror Junkie. John Victor, gifted by Horror Junkie. Rover, gifted by Horror Junkie. So, very, very cool. And Rich Cat uh, Ranch, uh, she did join uh, one day ago. Thank you. I I'm sure I said thank you, but thank you again. Um yeah, so very cool, very cool. Um, back at it. Back at it. Wait a second. What happened? Uh, okay, there we go. Okay. Um, anyways, okay, on track now. 83, 84, 85. There we go. Uh, hit those likes if you like your new channel. The, to, the new ch to the channel. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you. Uh, question number 13. Here we go. Question number 13. Why does Daniel kill Professor Lampini and his driver? A. They recognize them as criminals. B. He wouldn't take them to Rigelberg. C. Professor Lampini cheats Dr. Neiman in cards. Or D. Professor Lampini insulted Daniel so question number 13 and the answer is oh Christmas is coming Dino oh wink oh okay yeah yeah I'm waiting we 
We need to get to Halloween first, uh, Edward. Need to get to Halloween first, that's for sure. Uh, coming up, coming up. The person who got it first was WWM. WWM. Oh, holy, m holy McCloskey, uh, or something. Uh, uh, WWM just tied it up in a three way tie for first place with Paul Ham, WWM, and Kevin. All with four points and CM with one. So, uh, another a great trivia night tonight, man. Um, great, great trivia night. Uh, yeah, I had to chug that water. Uh, needed to. Halloween, 365 days a year. Yes, Kevin. Uh, pretty much. You see it. You see it. That's what's going to be it. Um, man, I hate that uh, light being crooked. Um, so there you go. So three-way tie. Let's, uh, oh boy, horror junkie. <laughs> oh, geez. Um, yeah, we got a threesome going on here. Uh, three-way, whatever, whatever. Uh, question number 14. Let's keep it going. Three-way tie, dang. Uh, I really want to wreck the place. <laughs> well, you can after the tie breaks, right, uh, Edward Stewart? Uh, so question number 14, what game is Mayor Hussman particular, particularly skilled at? A, poker, B, chess, C, cribbage, or D, backgammon? Uh, and the answer is question number 14. Um, Join the Late Late Horror Show on Facebook. Tracy's got the link for Facebook. If you happen to be on Facebook, everything gets posted there too. Um, yes, yes, yes. Thank you very much, Tracy. Uh, yeah, Horror Junkie, that's funny. Whoa, this is turning into a nail biter. Oh, heck yeah, Scarecrow Ninja. It sure is. <laughs> um, yeah, between Paul Ham, WWM, and Kevin, uh, definitely uh, a three-way um you got me saying it now so uh let's see who gets it first ah oh, paul ham breaks the tie and gets the point paul ham has reached five points congratulations paul ham five points to you you have pulled into the lead uh looking forward to halloween with this group all black roses yeah we got some fun stuff coming up that's for sure uh, oh, Tracy Hysteria dropping all kinds of links. Follow the Late Late Horror Show on Twitter. Uh, thank you very much, Tracy. Jeez, ay, ay, ay. What would we do without Tracy here? Uh, really appreciate it. Um, so, yes, Paul Ham in the lead now with five. L let's see what happens after this. Let's go on to another, um, another question. Uh, Halloween is not a holiday, it's a lifestyle. Yes, yes, CM. You got that straight. Why don't, Rover, why don't monsters eat ghosts? Because they uh, taste like sheet. <laughs> I like that one. I like that one. That was a good one. Uh, cow, fart, cow fart. Why was there a par spark between Frankenstein and his bride? He couldn't resist her. He couldn't resist her. Uh, <laughs> good one, good one, cow fart, uh, and Rover, that was, that was a good one too, Tracy rocking the chat, uh, tonight, every night, you guys all rock this chat, man, you guys are all fantastic, man, uh, wait, Francis McCloskey, you just said B, I didn't ask a question yet, John David, A, why are you guys answering questions, what's going on there? Uh, now comes the answer of uh, the question. Uh, uh, well, one last link. Tracy Asteri says, looking for comedy? Old time radio shows? Dino has another channel. Dino's Duck Soup. Yes. Dino's Duck Soup is where I put all the other stuff that don't fit in the Late Late Horror Show, like uh, Burns and Allen, um, you know, The Great Gildersleeve, Fibber McGee and Got, uh, Molly, uh, Jack Benny, um, 
Heck, I've got Babe Ruth uh, shows up there. Um, kind of a sports old time radio show. Uh, Bergen McCarthy, the Chase Sanborn show. Uh, got tons of stuff over there. And very soon, that channel is going to be getting uploads like you get here again, again. Uh, it's taken some time, but uh, that will be kind of like a daytime kind of stream for you guys. And this is, of course, the nighttime thing. So there you go. Very cool. So thank you, Tracy Steria, for that one. Uh, let's see. Hopping off for the evening. Thanks for the game and have fun, Matthew Gregory. Thank you, Matthew Gregory. Uh, good to see you, and I'm sure I'll see you again. Um, <laughs> duck soup, Dino's tomato soup. Oh, boy. Uh, cow fart. Any references to Marx Brothers must be supported. Uh, yepper, yepper, cow fart. Uh, what monster is always eating junk food? Snackula. Oh, boy. People say Frankenstein monster had a temper. But actually, he was surprisingly level-headed. Nice. 88 thumbs up. If you haven't hit that thumbs up yet, please do. Um, give the Patreon a join if you haven't, or the channel a join. And on to question number 15. Question number 15. Who does Mayor Hussman hold several victories over? A, Inspector Arns. B, Carl Hussman, the mayor's grandson, C, Count Dracula, or D, Lawrence Talbot? Question number 15. So who does Mayor Hussman hold several victories over? A, Inspector Arns, B, Carl Hussman, the mayor's grandson, C, Count Dracula, or D, Lawrence Talbot? Question number 15. Um... Dino's Duck Soup Daytime Stream. Coming soon. Thanks for checking in, Matthew. Paul Ham. Oh, is Paul Ham pulling away? Paul Ham is pulling away with it, maybe. Uh, another point to him. Six points. Uh, puts him in a lead by two now. Paul Ham. Uh, he does get the correct answer. It is A. Inspector Arns. Inspector Arns. And RTN says E. London La Rouge. London La Rouge. Uh, <laughs> not the correct answer. Uh, but anyways, uh, LOL. Um, question number 16. Let's get some more questions in there. We got about 15 minutes. Uh, La Rouge. R-O-F-L. Leave Larry Talbot out of it. Yeah, exactly. He's been through enough. That, that darn... Uh, Lycanthropy. Yeah. Uh, question number 16. Here we go. Carl jokes that he could really use something to keep his wife under control. What was it? A. Handcuffs. B. Whips. D. C. Stockade. Or D. Guillotine. Boy, this this is a this is yeah this is one that's tripping me out. Carl jokes that he could really use something to keep his wife under control. What is it? A handcuffs. Whew. B whips. C stockade or D guillotine. Question number sixteen. Oh boy. <laughs> Uh, I'm falling off the lead, says Kevin. But you, WW, maybe we need another Stargate trivia, right, uh, Tracy? Uh, Kevin comes up with the correct answer, C, and gets his fifth point. Uh, Kevin does. Uh, Paul Ham right after him with C. Harry Scott, C. Uh, so there you go. W, Pink Panther, says Horror Jockey. So, uh, yes, Kevin gets it. Um, C, it is stockade. I love that. I threw in handcuffs and whips. <laughs> but it is stockade. C, stockade. Uh, all sound, but fun, but the guillotine. Uh, Black roses. There. Yep, I agree with you. I agree, <laughs> I agree with you. 
Well, stockade, uh, I don't know. Could this, I guess the stockade could be fun. I don't know, yeah, whatever. Uh, Kevin, wrecking the place. Why was Frankenstein Monster always being arrested? He was so easy to charge. Aye, aye. Good one, good one. <laughs> I like it. I like it a lot. Uh, anyways, um, wait, let's see. Looking at something here. Oh, very good. Awesome, awesome. You guys are great. Uh, question number 17. What is the first thing Dr. Neiman, pretending to be Lampini, shows his audience? A. Torture rack. B. Vampire bat. C. The skeleton of Dracula. Or D. The remains of a werewolf. So what is the first thing Dr. Neiman pretending to be Lampini shows his audience? A torture rack? B, vampire bat? C, the skeleton of Dracula? Or D, the remains of a werewolf? Uh, let's see. Your jokes are on point, Calfart. Yes, they are. Um, uh, really cool. Quick, let's see. Uh, Paul Ham assuring the lead again says, C, Paul Ham, C, the skeleton of Dracula. The skeleton of Dracula. And RTN says, E, his appendectomy scar. Uh, very good there, RTN. Uh, Points just for uh, the jokes. Uh, fantastic. So, uh, yes, Paul Ham now has seven points. Kevin has five. WWM with four. And CM with one. So it's kind of been those four with House of Dracula. Um, so very cool. And I am going to do another one. When I die, says Kyle Fred, I hope it is peacefully in my sleep. Like my grandfather, not screaming in horror like his passengers. Getting a little dark there, Kyle Fart, huh? Uh, yep, props to uh, you, Paul Ham, for sure, says Kevin. Uh, yeah, yeah. So uh, another question. We are at 89 thumbs up. I don't think we'll make 100 thumbs up before the end of the show. We've got 10 more minutes. Uh, but, you know, if you're here... Hit that thumbs up, uh, hit the channel join, membership, all that good stuff. Subscribe, like, bell icon, everything. Uh, question number 18. I'm surprised I got to 18 uh, questions this evening. So it's getting close. Let's keep it going, guys. Yep, yep. Uh, 18. How does Count Dracula come back to life? A. Daniel accidentally cuts himself and blood falls on Dracula's remains. B. Neiman pulls the stake out of Dracula's skeleton. C. Moonlight hits the remains of Dracula. D. Lawrence Talbot recites a gypsy incantation to bring Dracula to life so that he may kill him. Question number 18. Um, and uh, Schultze is here another movie I haven't seen oh well just dropped in to say Peter Boyle will forever remain my fave monster uh, okay uh, Young Frankenstein I don't think Peter Boyle uh, Peter Boyle is the best Frankenstein but in a comedy perhaps uh, but uh, good to see you coming and stopping in Schultze um Yep, eight away from a uh, hundred thumbs up. Let's see uh, who's got the point. It is uh, who gets this. Yep, I think uh, think we're gonna have a winner here. Uh, Paul Ham gets it with B. B. Neiman pulls the stake out of Dracula's skeleton. Uh, so there you go, Paul Ham. Uh, yes. With the eight points, eight points in WWM4, CM1, and Kevin with five. 
pretty darn respectable Paul Ham this evening for uh, House of Dracula trivia night. Um, let's see. RTN says E, a weekend in Belize. <laughs> Uh, let's see. What did Horror Junkie say? I wish I could hit the thumbs up more than once. Thank you, Horror Junkie. Uh, once is good. Uh, she also, Horror Junkie also says F chocolate pudding. F chocolate pudding. Um, love my chocolate pudding, man. Uh, yum, yum. It a good one, Schultz. Check it out. Uh, yeah. Peter Boyle was a blessing to human humanity. Uh, that deserved more respect, Peter Boyle. Yeah, and he was in Fra the monster and Young Frankenstein. So there you go. Why did the monster says Rover? Why did the monster go inside the bar for the booze? <laughs> oh boy. Cow fart. What's an Alzheimer patient's favorite horror movie? The Blair Witch project which project um ham and cheese omelets for everyone oh god uh i'm getting hungry i'm getting hungry hello cookbook yeah yeah um yeah horror junkie for life the chocolate pudding was your answer yep yep uh yeah i'm getting hungry too i'm getting hungry too so uh house of frankenstein uh trivia night this week's winner goes to paul ham Congratulate Paul Ham, everybody. Paul Ham wins uh, this week's uh, trivia night. So, uh, congratulations, Paul Ham. Uh, really appreciate it, uh, as always, with uh, eight points. So, uh, good on you. Good on you. And Kevin, respectable. And WWM, respectable. And CM got a point. So, there you go. Peter Boyle was in Taxi Driver also. Yes, he was. Kevin, Peter Boyle was in Taxi Driver. Uh, I could go for a ham and cheese omelet, back black roses. This sounds good. You guys, are, my stomach's starting to grumble. CM, thank you, Dino and Mods and everyone. Peace, blessings. Uh, yes, positive vibes to all. Cow fart. Why do you never want to see an elevator in a horror game? Because you know something's about to go down. I'm sorry. Yeah, I know. That was, uh, yeah, that was something else. Um, one another great trivia night. Thanks, Dino. Well, hey, thank you all for this. Uh, Lee Donovan, hello, everyone. What is the vampire name with gas? Count Crapula. Oh, boy, Lee Donovan. Uh, bacon for everyone. Oh, now I'm really getting hungry. Hugs to everyone. You all did phenomenal. Yes, congratulations to Paul Ham. Uh, I want to thank Horror Junkie, uh, 80s Horror Fan. Um, oh, God. God, I, sh I should, let, let me get to this real quick. I got to thank everybody. Um, don't want to miss anybody. John David, thank you uh, for the super chat. Tracy, thank you. Horror Junkie, uh, thank you. Ed Brooks, thank you. 80s Horror Fan, thank you. Black Roses, thank you. Uh, and Horror Junkie for the um, uh, memberships. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Be sure to check out all the perks for the members and the movie nights. And the big party that comes up at the end of each month for Patreon members and channel members, uh, for sure. So uh, thank you, thank you, thank you, guys. You guys made this great. Uh, tomorrow night, me and Ginger will be talking about the movie Torso, uh, an early giallo film. Uh, so it should be an interesting talk, as always. Uh, thanks, Tracy, for all the link dropping. Really do appreciate it. Uh, I appreciate every... One of you guys, each and every one of you, uh, you guys make these nights uh, special. Uh, this group has always had the best members out there. Thank you, Paul Ham, And again, and thank you, Ginger. Thank you. And again, remember, switch on over to the overnight stream tonight if you're uh, up for listening to uh, This Is Your FBI. Um, stream number two. Yes, there is still... Plenty of new stuff to put on the channel. I've been doing a lot of mixed bags for a long time here, and now I'm trying to get back to finishing out some, you know, collections. So uh, there you go. Going to take another cold shower. <laughs> it's hot over there. Yes, take care, Edward Stewart. Uh, Torso, 1973. Yes, Kevin. Thank you, thank you. Uh, you guys are all fantastic. And with that said, 
I will let you all go and I will see you.